Hi, I'm Mike Murphy, and welcome to The Short, the news roundup from IBM Research. First up, quantum computing has come to Quebec. IBM and Pink, a nonprofit started by the University of Sherbrooke, recently unveiled the first IBM Quantum System 1 in Canada. The new machine was shown off at an event in Bromont, Quebec, attended by executives from IBM, Pink, and the Quebec government. The new utility-scale quantum computer will be available on the cloud. It will be dedicated to sustainability research for academics and businesses across Canada. Next up, we're celebrating a decade of IBM research in Africa. Ten years ago, IBM Research opened its first lab in Nairobi, Kenya, followed a few years later by a second lab in South Africa. And at an event at our Nairobi lab, leaders from IBM and the Kenyan government came together to celebrate the achievements of the Africa labs over the last decade. Their projects have covered government digital transformation, education, transportation, water management, agriculture, financial inclusion, healthcare, and climate. And I recently spoke with outgoing African Labs leader Solomon Asefa, who told me IBM is now at the epicenter of innovation on the African continent. And in case you missed it, IBM announced its new granite models for Watson X. And I'll just say it, it rocks. <laughs> Earlier this year, IBM introduced Watson X a new data and AI platform. And now there's an entire new set of IBM created models for companies to use called Granite. The model series is well suited to generative AI tasks like summarization, content generation, classification, and extracting insights. Based on testing by IBM research, results show that training Granite models on high quality finance data gives them the potential to perform similarly or even better than much larger models. For more on the latest innovations from IBM, make sure you check out our newsletter, Future Forward. Till next time.